To have an effect on the real world, we need to be able to produce a physical output that changes as a function of time, and maybe other input information. The simplest place to start is producing an analog output that depends only on time. We can read the time since we started the uh, microcontroller from the micros function, and we could use a sign function to produce a variable result. Then use analog write to produce a voltage output on pin A0, which we should be able to see on a multimeter. If we connect a wire between pins A0 and A3, we should be able to read that output voltage directly back in as an input voltage using analog read, faster than the multimeter can follow. So we can skip the multimeter step. Starting a brand new sketch, in our setup we can set up the serial uh, monitor output, we can print out just to let it know that the function's running, and we can make sure that our analog read resolution is set to 16 bits. We can get the time now in microseconds, convert that to a time in seconds because that's easy to handle, and then calculate a millivolt level output that will have a mean of 1600 millivolts plus or minus 1400 millivolts according to a sinusoidal function, and we'll use a really slow sinusoid to get started. Before we try talking to the hardware, let's print out those values so that we can see what's going on. We need to make sure that we include a new line, and we'll put a delay in so that it prints uh, not too fast. The values look like they're oscillating up and down sinusoidally, but the best way to see that is to have a look on the serial plotter. It's taking its time and adjusting the scale dynamically, but it's eventually looking like we're getting that sinusoid we thought we were going to get. The blue line trailing across the bottom is the time, so it's very gradually increasing. That's the time in seconds. So let's uh, write that voltage out to the digital to analog converter on pin A0. That digital to analog converter only has a 10-bit resolution, so we need a value between 0 and 1023 to uh, provide the output. So we're going to scale our millivolt output to that 1023 level. Then we're going to write it out with an analog write function to pin A0. I've connected pins A0 and A3 with a wire in hardware, so whatever goes out on pin A0, we should be able to read back in on pin A3. I'm going to anal do an analog read function call for pin A3. That'll get me the unsigned value that comes in, and I need to scale that. Because we're using 16 bits resolution, the scale factor is going to be 65,535, and I'm going to scale that into a voltage from 0 to 3300 millivolts. I'm already printing the output value, so now I'll add the same statements to print the input value, and I hope they'll look the same. Quick check on the uh, data, they do look the same, but let's look at a serial plot. So on the serial plot, if you look really closely, maybe you can see that there's a red line and a green line that are almost right on top of each other. So my output and input and scaling are working okay. We've still got the blue line across the bottom that's the time in seconds. This works fine for a simple sine wave, but for something more complicated, we need to stop thinking formulaically and start thinking procedurally to figure it out.